Let's talk about ethics. Given all the creepy technologies available on the market that track our most intimate moments, creators of connected devices have the responsibility to make a difference and use ethics, not only as a way of reflecting on technology, but also as a way of building it. Let's take a look at Leo, a product designer living in Italy who's working on a new smartwatch for children who are between 8 and 12 years old. As a child, Leo once got lost in a park at night. After hours of wandering and feeling confused, he managed to find his way back home. This memory resonates in his current project. Leo is building a smartwatch that tracks location data of children. With his team, he is figuring out which functions they would like to include in this product. When presenting the idea to potential investors, a venture capitalist offers to fund Leo's product, but wants access to the data created by the smartwatch and app. Here's where Leo needs to make important decisions. If parents use the smartwatch to track their child's location, both parents and child may feel safer. But what if this data is in the hands of investors profiling children and parents? And what if users, or the companies using their data, are hacked? Does Leo have the right expertise to take care of his users? And is location data the solution to guarantee a child's safety? Ultimately, Leo just wants to create a product that does good in the world. Thinking back to when Leo was a child, what he remembers the most is how he loved hiding in nature alone, free from parents, free from noisy neighbors, free from school, and also free to make mistakes. With his parents being able to track him at all times, could he have felt as free? And will kids wearing his product ever be free to explore, hide, or make mistakes? Leo and his team have to finance their project and make design decisions collectively. They need to make something unique that will stand out from other products. Every decision in the process of building the smartwatch matters. Before signing contracts with external partners, Leo begins to study consumer rights in his location. He then realizes that by law, he is obliged to state clearly how his smartwatch will manage personal data and protect its users. Having no experience in writing terms of conditions and consent agreements, he decides to seek legal advice. What components will go into the creation of the smartwatch and how could this influence children using it? This questioning is part of a complicated puzzle of pressures, resources, possibilities, and hopes that Leo will need to navigate if he wants to make a well-thought-out product. A smartwatch will not only change the life of a child wearing it, but it will also change the relationship the child has with his or her parents, family members, teachers, friends, and others. What if the smartwatch was used with the intention to control and make children even more vulnerable? Making good decisions when building technology is not easy, but there are tools available to at least try and reflect on what we wish to build. Ethics is not simply about right or wrong. Ethics is about imagining possible futures and contributing to better ways of living. So, what existing relationships are you potentially going to influence when you build technology? And how will your products nurture a more caring, free, and livable world? <laughs>